In this video, we're going to take a look at the discover process in OpenBazaar. And that is the way that you find either individual specific products or services for sale, or when which, through which you find storefronts that are selling products and services that you might be interested in. And this is sort of a combination of a traditional search like you might do on eBay or Amazon or something like that, but it also combines that with a sort of a social media kind of, of way of working. So let's take a look at how this, how this works. So when you're in the application, if you look in the upper right hand corner of the window, there is a menu and then to the left of that is notifications and then to the left of that is discover. And that icon, if you click that button, it looks kind of like an eyeball, you will get the discover listings. And this is, it gives you an initial list of results of things that you might be interested in purchasing. And it doesn't, it's not narrowed down at all to anything specific. It's just a general thing you can browse through. And you have at the top, you have listings, which gives you results, search results for any individual product or service for sale. And then pages, which gives you actual profiles of people who may or may not have things to sell, depending on the case. So if we look at listings, first off, one thing you can do here is you've got all stores, and this is a pull down menu, and it says stores I follow. Now, if I click this right now, yeah, it's gonna scan my network for a moment, which means it's just kind of taking a look at who I'm following and indexing it. And there's no listings found. Now, the reason for that is because I'm not following anyone yet. So I'm gonna switch this back to all stores and we should see, there we go, we see all those listings again. And I'm gonna just go through and let's say, let's take a look here what we got. I think I saw, so I'm gonna click this listing and this takes me to a Bitcoin Not Bombs uh, listing of a tire cover apparently. So in the upper right hand corner of any listing, or if I'm looking at their store page, you will see a follow button. So if I click it, it's kind of like the same idea if you're following someone on Twitter or Instagram or what have you. And that adds them to my sort of social network, if you will. So if I go back up to this button, the discover button, I click it again, it takes me back here to the initial listings page. And of course I could just kind of scroll down here and browse my way through these items. And over time, I mean, keep in, keeping in mind that this is being recorded with a near final version of the test, of the beta test of this software, it's not fully functional as I'm recording this. So there are only a very limited number of listings, but you get the basic idea. And so you can just type in the search box up here, you can type in any word or, or couple of words to search for something you're looking for. And again, it's the same basic idea. It doesn't require a lot of explanation, but it's the same basic idea like if you're going to Amazon, you're searching for you know, shoes or whatever it is you're buying, it's the same idea. And for the time being, instead of typing out longer phrases, what they are more like, what's more likely to work and the way it's designed is to use these little tags basically, which is the same idea as keywords basically. So if we go back to pages, you'll see that the Bitcoin Not Bombs that I followed a minute ago is now at the top of the pages listing. And there's just a variety of other people who I can go and uh, follow if I choose to. And I can, let's just see, wanna buy Raspberry Pis, so let's take a look at that one. And I can follow this person. I can message them if I have a question about what it is that they're selling. And I can, of course, unfollow again. And if it turns out that you have some sort of issue with this particular person, you can block them as well, just as you can on a lot of social networks. Uh, of course, you should use this with restraint and only if it's really justified.